and welcome to another edition of The Brash. Show on Video Entertainment, YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the latest backstage rumors, news, and developments on Shane McMahon, Brock Lesnar, and Randy Orton, all contained in this one epic report. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still feeling the effects of SummerSlam on the WWE Network. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that Stephanie McMahon has fined Brock Lesnar, if you want to call it a fine. Was it $500? Did I hear that number correctly? $500? Hundred dollars, not five thousand, not five million, not five hundred thousand, five hundred dollars, which Brock Lesnar has as we speak in his back pocket. Randy Orton, and here on this channel, I keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. And of course, this is the home of the undisputed WWE updates that come at you at a moment's notice. T-shirt line coming out. A lot to cut, a lot to get to, a lot to talk about, a lot to bring up. Randy Orton, as we all know, received 10 staples to his head to close a legitimate wound suffered at the hands of Brock Lesnar during their WWE SummerSlam match last Sunday. Due to concussion concern, Randy Orton also end underwent impact testing. And while this has not been confirmed, multiple sources indicate that Orton did not suffer a concussion but was definitely injured at on the match at SummerSlam as he was a busted, bloody mess. So, you know, Randy Orton's sore, he's beaten, he's battered, he's bruised, but he's not broken. And Randy Orton is still here. Randy Orton is still staying true. And now Randy Orton is already in another program with Bray Wyatt. And you got to wonder, is Randy Orton going to get the better of that feud? Or is Bray Wyatt going to continue to suffer at the hands of an RKO? Now, remember, that match was originally booked and planned several months ago, but then Randy Orton got hurt, then something happened with Bray Wyatt, and the match the match never came about, it never materialized, and now we got Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton, and I feel it's going to be a very good one-on-one -on -one match that could really raise the stock of Bray Wyatt in WWE, but you just never know the developments on where that could go. But, ladies and gentlemen, Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt, I feel that they're going to have good chemistry and hopefully a hell of a match at the next SmackDown pay-per-view offering. On a related note, it's been reported how there's been, there's been speculation of doing Brock Lesnar versus Shane McMahon, Shane McMahon match in WWE in the near future. Shane indicated on SmackDown that their feud is not over. Adding to that speculation, we confirm that the idea of Lesnar versus Shane has been, has been discussed. No word yet on how they would get Shane versus Brock if they do it at all, but it wouldn't happen until Royal Rumble or WrestleMania time because Brock Lesnar, as we all know, is not on our television screens right now which, you know, maybe does benefit the WWE superstars because with Brock Lesnar not being there, he can't compete for the Universal title because we know if Brock Lesnar would, there, would be there, he would win the Universal title. Brock Lesnar would annihilate and decimate anyone that came in his way. I mean, you can talk about all the good matches, but how competitive, how compelling would it be if you have Brock Lesnar in one corner and another superstar in another corner? So I just doesn't, I don't see where that would add up there, but, you know, it is what it is there. You know, Brock Lesnar comes in, he kicks ass, he takes names, and he does what he does. He's not there, he's not working by the hour is Brock Lesnar. But, um, you know, now there's some good news about the whole Brock Lesnar and the uh, steroid violations of UFC. I guess there's some good news there. Um, but that good news is still developing. That is still coming about. So, ladies and gentlemen, right here on Show and Entertainment, I'm looking forward to your comments and your opinions. And I, I don't know. I, I just think it was kind of stupid how Stephanie McMahon find Brock Lesnar. And, you know, how do we explain the whereabouts of Brock Lesnar? Why is it Brock Lesnar on Monday Night Raw? You know, but we already know how that goes. And we won't be seeing Paul Heyman on TV for a long time. Um, which Paul Heyman, you know, what is the contract status of Paul Heyman there? You know, is it on a month-to-month -month basis? I mean, I, I don't know what's going on there, but um, it's good to know that Randy Orton won't be out of action. He was injured, um, but a lot of superstars, you know, deal with injuries and they work through them, and that's exactly what Randy Orton is going to do. Is going to do uh, with this. Your comments, your opinions. Subscribe and please share my videos on Twitter and Facebook. Later.